It's all about color. Hi everybody, welcome. My name is Soraya. Today I'm going to be showing you how I transform this plain, simple uh, painting. It was a fluid pour just by adding color and here it is. I love it. I am loving color and I show you exactly what I do. I have commentary throughout. So keep watching. I thought I'd show you the finished painting now, but I've got up close images at the end and fabulous information throughout the video. Sometimes the hardest thing for me is when I start. What color should I start? Red, blues, yellows, greens. Um, once I know that and I actually put the color down, it goes a lot more smoother. I'm very much in my comfort zone when I'm working with blues, uh, so that was kind of a given, but I knew I wanted to add a lot of different colors to this painting, and that's what I was uh, working towards. I also knew that I wanted to cover up some of that gold. It was quite pretty, but I wanted to have more of a colorful uh, painting rather than have some uh, metallic in there. After I've placed the initial color where I want it to go, I continue on doing the same thing with the other colors. And then after that, I start layering colors. So it looks like when I'm painting that I'm uh, jumping from here to there and everywhere on the painting. Um, and that is partly because of editing, but it is kind of my style. If I see something uh, that needs to get done as I'm painting it, uh, that needs the, that color, I'll move right to it right away. So far I've, I've used a uh, cobalt blue and a turquoise uh, blue, a turquoise color, and a cadmium yellow deep hue. And I wanted to cover up some of that gold with the yellow. As I have in the past, I'm using a matte medium to uh, make the paint translucent and that allows me to add color on top of color and creates a, a glaze really. I love to paint as you well know and uh, one of my favorite parts is when I start adding the detail. The detail makes the painting. It gives the um, viewer all that more added interest that draws the, them in to take a closer look. One of the things I talk about all the time is uh, focal points and this is what I'm working towards here. Information on the matte medium as well as the paints I use are in the description area. I've shown you how I use my matte medium in other videos and this one is as well. I'm using the matte medium here to uh, uh, put that uh, color down over colors uh, so that you can still see the detail below but it creates these beautiful wonderful new colors. I wanted to keep this uh, overall feel of the painting very ethereal, so when that harsh dark blue line uh, was created there, I needed to go over it so that it became a softer line. I sing next. 
There's a somebody I'm longing to see. I hope that he turns out to be someone who watch over me. You can see here that I've started uh, layering the colors and when I initially put down this red, I got a little scared. Uh, it was a little bit much, but the uh, matte medium really thins it out and uh, produces a glaze really. So I know a lot of people just have mobile phones, but I still do have a home line. You can see the cord there. Um, and I was doing uh, two things at once as a lot of people often do. <laughs> So I kept working and working in this section because um, it didn't seem quite right to me and uh, the more I did the more I knew that the composition had to change a little bit on it and you will see that it does. So before I created the initial fluid pour, I also put down these bubbles and their circles throughout the painting. Um, I wanted to have texture in the fluid pour and as I'm painting you'll see them throughout and they added some lovely beautiful texture. I love the contrast of a blue against a red and whenever I do have red in a painting I do try and put uh, that contrast together. So here once again I am layering color on top of color, in this case it's actually not color, it's white um, because I wanted to tone down the painting. As I've said before, I wanted it to be looking very ethereal. I sing next. I don't know what it is that makes me love you so But you started something, oh can't you see Ever since we've met you've had a hold on me It's crazy but it's true I only want to be with you You hear that scratching? It's one of my favorite sounds. The sound of scratching of paint brush on canvas. It is wonderful to me. This section of the painting really shows you how many colors you can get by layering on top of each other. It's a great example of um, what the glazing does. So I was asked recently why I embellish, uh, why not add these colors when uh, I do the fluid pour? And uh, there's a couple of reasons and uh, the first one is when you're doing your fluid pour, uh, the colors really mix and mix together um, beautifully a lot of times. Um, but oftentimes I want to add color where I want to add color and so once the painting has uh, dried then I can go ahead and add the colors where uh, I want it. You can add uh, variations of the same hue, um, do the glazing so that you can get a layering effect. It adds more detail and a lot more depth and that's why I'm, I embellish. 
Another reason I really like to embellish is because sometimes um, I like to change up the composition. And uh, when you're doing a fluid pour, uh, you don't have a lot of control over how it ends up. Um, you do have some, but not always. So especially after it dries, it can look different. And um, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out the way you want it to be. So uh, by embellishing, you can change it up and um, have a totally different painting. As much as possible, I like to have smooth transitions between colors and that is what I'm working on here now. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. Check out my description area. I have so much information listed there. It's a great place to visit. You can see here that the painting is really coming together, but as I'm painting, I often will step back to take an overall view of the painting and then see where I need to add or change. In case you were wondering, I'm using a couple different sizes of a filbert brush. This painting did take many hours over many days to complete. Leave me a comment to let me know what your favorite section of this painting is. I am thrilled to say that this painting did sell almost practically before the paint dries as the saying goes. Um, but if you're interested in prints, check out my description area and there's lots of places where you can purchase those. I often imagine what my viewers are doing when they're watching my videos and I hope that you're sitting back with a cup of tea or coffee, enjoying the video and listening to the beautiful music. I've taken a bit of a yellow and added it to the tip of the brush and just lightly going over certain areas to highlight those areas. As you can see, I'm still working on this area to perfect it and get it just right. This line directly points to the focal point, so it is an important one.
painting in daylight. I am loving what I see. Um, it is very different than what I started off with, but I love the addition of the colors. Look at that. You can still see the color popping through there. And um, I think it looks wonderful. I decided to uh, change up the composition and I'm glad that I did. I am loving this now. So beautiful. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Click on the link you see now to see more of my artwork. I have named this painting After All. Join my Facebook group called Soraya Silvestri Artist, Amazing Abstracts, Semi-Abstracts and Pores. The link is in the description area below. Be sure to check out my description area. I have my link to my Amazon shop there and lots of other information as well.